All right, hey, welcome back, old school, new school. I know it's been a while, but hey, you know, got got, got responsibilities, man. <laughs> so we are in Frankfurt, Germany, and we're about to go to the German Comic Con Festival thingamajig. So um, we just seen a couple people with costumes on, so I think we're in the right place right now. Um, hey, I got a question for the people though. So is is Comic Con? Is it like the like the loving hip hop for sci-fi sci people? I, I don't know. Is it like something that they go do as you know, if their career on that on the kind of on the outskirts, or is it something that that's another revenue screen stream for like sci-fi sci-fi people? Because um, when I looked at the list of people that was going to be there, it wasn't the main actors. Um, it's normally like the the next to the main actors like maybe a sidekick or you know or somebody who had a, a famous career like a sci-fi career like back in the day so I, I i don't know but um i mean it had a lot of good people had um um terminator 2 dude i don't know i don't know none of these people name but a terminator 2 dude was supposed to be here um who else they had on there um I, i've the guy who got yondu's like whistle thing yeah the little like yeah the dude from guardians of the galaxy not the dude with the whistle um but the the, the, the dude that um his, his sidekick dude so it's a couple people here or whatever so just wonder never experienced a comic con before so um i'm gonna go ahead and check it out i'll shoot some video and splice it together and so you can see the experience so um hey happy to be back check out the video and then um I'll talk to you later Comic-Con 2018 Frankfurt Germany um, like I said my first Comic-Con um, so I'm gonna give my thoughts on it um, it was pretty good actually so in, in typical in typical fashion it was really a, a venue for a lot of people to kind of sell their you know sell their wares so to speak so you know you had a lot of you know replicas you know swords replica you know t-shirts Per paraphernalia from different, you know, from different anime type things, and you know, different things in the in the sci-fi, in the sci-fi world, and the in the video game world. Um, we did get a chance to see um, a couple celebrities. I, I I do this, not saying not taking anything away from them, um, but like I said, a lot of these, a lot of we went on a Sunday, so that might be another reason. But um, is it, is the guy that stands next to the guy kind of um, people that was there. Um, we did see the Terminator, Terminator Two. 
Damn, why well, can't uh, remember his name? No. Jason Patrick. <laughs> the best Terminator by far, but yeah, so we did see the ter um, T2. So, so, um, Jeremy Flynn. Jeremy Flynn um, from um, Game of Thrones. Yeah, Game of Thrones. Ron. Um, who else we see in there? It was some, some it was some the, some, the some, Night King. Yeah, so Night Night King was there from um, Game of Thrones also. Um it was a couple of Sons of Anarchy people there. Um Half Sack and then um I uh, forgot the other dude name. Billy. Yeah, Bobby, Billy. Bobby, Bobby. Yeah, yeah, Bobby. So they was there also. Um I didn't see him though. Do you see him? Uh, I don't think we we didn't catch no, them. No, we, we didn't catch him at the right time. So, so. but um but if, uh, a festive affair, um you had some people doing the cosplay thing. Um or LARPing or whatever, whatever it's called. Action. Yeah, so we had a, got to experience some a little bit of that. Um, but definitely a good experience. If you're into sci-fi, comic books, video games, this is definitely a, um, something um, for you. Um, what I really like they had, if you're really looking to kind of up your, like, your video game collection, there's a lot of, they had a lot of, you know, if you want to get an old Nintendo, uh, old Nintendo games, Game Boy games, they had that. Uh, a, 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 a Jaguar. A um, Jaguar. Famicom. Uh, Nintendo 64s. Old, old Playstations. They had that a, a plenty for you. But you definitely had to be prepared if you come there, just be prepared to spend some money because that's really what it's set up for. Um, the the so today's the autograph. The autograph was 25 euro. To take a picture with anybody was 25 euro. So that's around I don't know what the exchange is right now, but about 30. About let's say let's call it yeah 30 31 31 US dollars or whatnot. So it can get pricey. Obviously you can just bring your camera with a zoom lens. And you can take pictures of, of whoever you want. But if you really want to that interaction and then um, you know take a selfie or you know or get that autograph, you, you're you're paying for that. You know, and I'm not knocking their hustle. Yeah, you know uh, that's what they're there for. Um, Cause you have diehard fans of these people that come and 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 want wants to, wants to see him um the, the the terminator his line was his line was long so he i guess he, he's still he's still doing it big i anticipated some of the game of thrones lines would be a little bit longer but he had the longest autograph picture picture line um in the place um obviously we're in germany so a lot of the a lot of the presentations were in german but when the guys do go on the center stage to speak obviously they're english so you know hey hooray for us we still can understand what they're saying um but definitely comic-con 2018 we're going to try to do another one this year and just be a little more prepared this is really a kind of seat of the pants type type trip that's why we came on a sunday also it's, Germany and on a Sunday is shut down. They really, the Sabbath day, uh, they really adhere to that and nothing's really open on Sundays um, except for some restaurants, but everything else is shut down. So it was really a good first experience where we didn't really have to deal with a large crowd and everything like that. Think about it, if you've ever been to a gun show, think of it as a gun show for nerds. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, it's pretty good. Like I said, we're gonna try to do another one this year and we'll do the whole maybe anyway do the whole dress up as something and then go and really make it a an experience really if you're going to go to one of these things you got to make it an experience not just just just, just going just to go because i think you're going to get a lot more out of it if you really ingrained and go in there and make it an experience you know the people that was actually dressed up in costumes and people asked them to take pictures and things like that i think they really got a lot more out of it than versus just a uh, a person that's going there to, to walk around inside of a inside of a a, a, a festive hall um so inside of a banquet hall so um definitely i suggest go check out a comic con but if you're going to go make sure you got some money in your pocket and make sure you're going there to be fully ingrained in the experience so old school new school tell a friend to tell a friend going to try to do some more videos i got to travel for work in a little while here but going to try to get you some content so just check us out like comment subscribe and we out salute